as everybody knows, branding is everything. Frostbite Radiant. Ready to roll. Actually, better leave some so she doesn't kill me. Now we're ready to roll. Okay, so as you've seen in the intro, we're doing something a little weird today. We got ourselves some new lures to try out. The Frostbite Radiant? Just kidding. They're not new lures or by Frostbite. They are tampons. Now, the reason we're fishing with tampons today is as a result of a social media post I made a couple weeks ago when I was showing off the new Send It Outdoors tubes. A couple of you characters thought it was cute to compare the tubes to tampons, which I absolutely do not see the resemblance, but I don't know, there's something wrong with y'all. I guess the comments maybe got my mind going a little bit, but the one that really sent me over the edge was this one from my buddy Mark Baumhoff who said, and I quote, I mean, uncut angling would do it. You scared, bruh? LOL. Now, to me, this is the ultimate double dog there, saying Aaron will do it and I won't. So you played me, Mark Baumhoff, but this may make for some good content, so what do you do? But as much as I misled you guys to believe in the intro that I stole these tampons, the missus was more than okay with it. Well, kind of okay with it. She did make me pay straight cash homie up front before taking them. Now, I think she might've played me because there's no way that she paid that much for them. But if she did, I can thoroughly understand why she's cranky for about a week after she has to buy them. But without further ado, let's get ourselves rigged up here. So as you can see, there are several different types. I think we better go with the S Plus because Plus is usually good. Now they're labeled and we're going to need to get the S Plus. S Plus. That's the one we want. So for any of you dudes out there that are curious about what comes in these little baggies, I certainly was. I had to have the missus give me a run through last night. So what you get out of the bag is this little rig here. And I think you have to pull it apart. Oh no, you got to push it. And this little thing will pop out and there you have it now when i first saw this i was quite surprised how decent it looks looks like it'll have that wounded bait fish action we're looking for so what i've got here as usual frostbite mr big 3000 size shimano and a nice little half ounce swim bait jig so if you take your frostbite radiant and you pop it open like so you can wrap it around the hook just like so and then for added measures, we're going to take an elastic and wrap it around a few times. Keep it on the hook. I'm going to try to evenly disperse the elastic across the entire hook, kind of like so. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to expand quite a bit when it gets wet, so the elastic's not too tight. We may have to make some minor adjustments afterwards, but there she be. There's the rig. Now, just keep in mind, we chose the pink elastic because of uh, wounded bait fish action. So, without further ado, let's get down there and see if we can catch a big mama lake trout on a tampon. All right, so as usual, we got tons of bait on the screen. So for anybody wondering, a lot of people have been asking me, what's all this interference on the screen? This little subtle like white and blue flex, that would be interference. And all this red stuff is all little ciscos and bait fish. So don't get it twisted. The garment is not completely littered with interference. There is so much bait that it may seem like interference, but it's a very good thing. That's what we want, boys and girls. Okay, here it is once again, our tampon swim bait. Let's get that down. There's our lure coming down. Wow, this reel is very frozen. Whoa, there's a fish on it instantly. Instantly. But he appears to want nothing to do with it. I was watching a video of a Northwestern Ontario hot stick, Jamie Bruce, who mentioned that he no longer jigs aggressively like most people do for lake trout, instead favoring the little subtle movements. Now his explanation for this is because it doesn't look natural, these big, huge, aggressive jigging motions, which I don't disagree with at all, but a tampon swimming in the water also doesn't look natural. So we'll put his theory to test next time. Now, if hot, hot tips is what you're after, Jamie Bruce is the man. You should check out his YouTube channel. Oh, there's a fish. Not interested in the tampon, not surprisingly. Okay, maybe we better try Jamie Bruce's technique here. We're gonna need any advantage we can get. Oh, there's one there. 
Now you want to play the keep away game. If they start chasing, you got to try to keep it away from them. So you don't want to keep it still like the whole time, but once you have their interest peaked, then you'll start the keep away game. Now we got to use nice subtle motions, don't forget, because wounded bait fish action. Let's try reeling up into the school of Sisto. Sistos. Cisco's. So every once in a while, I will reel up and check the column, obviously. But I'll also leave it too right in the middle of the school of Cisco's. It may seem ridiculous because like why would a fish passing by grab a tampon when there is a school of Cisco's all around. But with this wounded bait fish action that we're imparting on the bait, it's more of a target for the lake trout because it all they see is just this little white thing struggling a bit with all these other healthy, quick moving targets around it. So fish, especially in the winter, are gonna try to use as little energy as possible to get a meal. So if they're cruising in there and everything else scatters and there's just one single target right in front of it, it's gonna take that target and not really think much about it. I think there's a fish on my tampon. Could be Cisco schooling around. But yeah, it's just, it's gonna seize that first target and, and just take whatever it can get its dirty little mouth on. Oh, there's one there. Looks like a good mark too. Oh my goodness, is it chasing? It's... No, doesn't appear to wanna chase the tampon. This may be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't be hard. We're fishing with a tampon after all. Oh, there's a fish there. He's swimming in to investigate, but will he chase? The answer looks to be no. That looks like a big flipping mark too. Come on, bro, it's the super plus. Uh, should go with regular. Oh, maybe not. Here comes one. He's chasing. He's chasing. We're gonna get him. He's gonna bite. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. 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 Come. Come on, bro. Oh, where are you going? No, I thought for sure that was gonna bite. I thought definitely this was gonna be easier than the meat. This actually looks like something. Oh, there's a fish on it right now. Come on. Is he interested? Not at all. Bro. Now, as you can see, there's only two holes drilled, one for the panoptics and one for jigging. So I'm gonna take the L on this one and be a hypocrite on not using both lines. But I think using a tampon may give me a half pass because this is gonna take a lot of effort, I think. Oh, 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 maybe not. Oh, come on. Oh, this guy's chasing, he's gonna bite. Oh, he just charged it. Come on, come on. He's right in the school of Cisco's. I think he's still chasing. I can see him. Oh, I think we might have lost him in the Cisco's. Oh, got him. Oh, my reel's frozen. <laughs> wow, this reel's frozen or something's wrong. What is happening? Oh, he popped off. Oh, the line got tangled around the tip. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But hey, we got a bite. There it is. Tap on still good. Oh, how did I not feel that it was tangled until the fish bit? Oh, here comes another one. Wow, this guy's flying. Uh, maybe, yep, 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 yep. He wants it. Oh boy. We charged it and stopped. Come on, come on. There he is, there he is. He's still interested. Oh no, there's two. There's two. Come on. Oh, they're charging. Holy bros. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's charging it. This guy's gonna bite. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. What is going on here? Okay, so I got a couple pre-rig tampoons. Here we go. These ones are of the regular variety and not the super absorbent flavored. So it's gonna have a little smaller body shape, which I think is gonna help us out here a little bit. Okay, there we go, rigged up. Less absorbent. Down. I had to switch out the reel. We're having some technical difficulties. Now I just checked the time and it's only been an hour. It felt like it's been so long. It just kind of goes to show how spoiled I am being where I'm at. 
Oh, is there something chasing down? Something looks weird. No. Oh yeah, yeah, there is something there. Come on. It's coming up a bit. Oh, there's two. This one's going to chase. You can just tell how much more interested they can be. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I think he might have just bit it on the fall and it wasn't ready. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, got a, got a good hook set on him, I think. Oh, <laughs> what a relief. Oh, is this a good one? Feels like it might have some weight. Yeah, this feels like it could have some weight. Whoa, oh, no, he popped off. Oh. oh, that's difficult. That's that's painful. What just happened there? I think my boy Jay Siemens described it best. And then whack! <laughs> <laughs> and it got off. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, it's still all good. The elastic bands are holding up nicely. Oh, how did it get off? Well, at least I got to finally show the Jay Siemens clip. Man, what is going on? Man, I'm like zero for three today. Oh, here's one, here's one. Oh, there's two. Come on, be it, be it, be it, be it, be it. Oh, please be it. Oh, come on. Oh, he wants it. He so wants it. It's right below the ice chasing. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I really hope that first one didn't muck it right up. Well, bit a little piece of the tail off, but that's all good. Oh, there's one up there. That's definitely a lake trout up there. Just reel this right up in front of his face. Oh, there's one down below. Oh boy, that looks big too. Holy smokes, that looks like a huge effing mark. Drop down, see if we can get this one up high, chasing down. Oh, Oh boy. Oh, that took forever. I feel like I got him good. Oh, good day. Oh, that literally took hours. But we got one on the tampon. He crushed it. Oh, it feels good to get the skunk off the ice. I'm going to get this one back. And I don't think that'll do it. I think we need at least a decent one. Man, that took hours. That was so hard. I mean, not surprisingly, we were fishing with a tampon after all, but I had much higher hopes. Oh, there was a fish on it. I didn't even see it on the screen. That was so weird. That was so weird. Oh, here he comes, he's charging. Oh, this looks big. Please bite. Come on, come on. Oh, that looks like a huge mark. Please. Oh, this could be the one. Please be the one. Oh, he just bumped it. I'm gonna bring him down a bit. He's, he's right on it. Oh, he bumped it again. Come on. Do it for the YouTube. Oh, got him. Oh, he's right at the bottom of the hole. Oh, he's up. Oh, check this guy out. Oh, that feels so good. That was so hard. By no means a giant, but an absolute beautiful Baker Lake leg trout. And he crushed the tampon. <laughs> Oh man, let's get that unhooked. Popped out nice and beautifully. There he is again, one last look. 
Me about an eight pounder. Stoked nonetheless. Let's get her back. Oh! Oh, that feels good. That took so much freaking effort. Not surprisingly, we're fishing with a tampon after all, but man, that feels so good. I truly thought this one was gonna be easier than the meat, if we're being honest. Like that tampon actually looks kind of decent. Like it has good action, has a little tail. That fish felt so much bigger when it bit and those head shakes were violent, but still a nice, healthy medium. So in all reality, we've only been fishing for like two and a half hours. It's felt like a lot more, but it's just, been so spoiled with the location that I'm in that that this feels like just such a slow day but in all reality two lake trout in two and a half hours isn't awful it just goes to show location is everything oh there's a lake trout oh boy that looks big <clears throat> wanted absolutely nothing to do with what I'm presenting though oh oh that one had it in its mouth oh no I'm tangled uh, get untangled please oh he charged it I'm surprised he didn't bite it there. Oh, he's charging, he's charging. Oh, no way. Like he wants it. What is wrong with him though? Oh, there's two. That looks big, that second mark. They both look big. Oh, there's three. Four. Oh my God, maybe five. Come on, one of these has to eat it. Oh, this guy's chasing so hard. Oh, got him. Dink. There he is. Dink. On the tampon. Let's get him back. There were more down there, so let's get back down. Oh, there's one. Seems interested. Yep, yep, yep. Got him. Not a bad one. Not a bad fish at all. Look at that beautiful polka dotted Baker Lake Lake Trout. Maybe the biggest of the day? And he ate the tampon swim bait. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, let's get her back. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap it up with that. Definitely wasn't nearly as successful of a day as I would have hoped that it would be using the tampon. But I mean, kind of not surprising considering we did use a feminine hygiene product as a lure today. Could have been a super solid day, but biffed a couple fish, but it's the way she goes. Can't just be the hot stick every time you come out. And if we learned anything today, just goes to show that any dummy can't just come out here with anything, strap it to a hook and drop it down and catch fish. But that's gonna do it for now. If you can think of anything that you wanna see me try to fish with or any ridiculous lure or item that you think may have a chance at catching fish, let me know in the comments below. But I'm gonna get out of here for now. Until next time, peace. Oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you guys about, my buddy Christian Lillyman is gonna be putting on an awesome event in the coming weeks. It is called the Full Tilt Walleye Tourney, uh, an online walleye tournament hosted in support of the Children's Hospital in Manitoba. The tourney is going to be held on the Fish Donkey app, which is an online fishing tourney platform. If anybody is familiar with the Uncut Angling versus Everybody tournament, it'll be similar to that. The tournament is going to be walleyes only, and any body of water in Manitoba are fishable and fair game. The tournament runs from February 20th to March 7th. All proceeds will be going to charity, aside from what is paid out to anglers for prizes. Christian isn't putting a single penny in his pocket even though I'm pretty sure pennies aren't even a thing. There'll be three top prizes for anglers who can put together the best five walleye stringer with two separate categories for adults and youth under 16. There'll also be three top prizes for female anglers, including $1,000 cash to the top female angler. There's also hidden length wild card and smallest fish registered for youth. I've been told there's some pretty solid prizes and also some straight cash homie added to sweeten up the pot. Also, if you register before January 31st, you'll be entered for the early bird prize of an Eskimo Stingray Ice Auger. Now that's in just a couple of days from when this video will be posted, so get on it 
and get registered. I'll post a link to the event in the description along with the social media pages for the event. I know if I was back home, I'd certainly be putting together a solid five Schmedium walleye stringer to participate. It's a great event for a great cause. Check it out. I demand it.